What's up awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and today is going to be a video I've been wanting to do for about three weeks now. I'm finally doing it and it is my ranking from worst to best of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Now I'm a big Nightmare on Elm Street fan so there's only one movie in the series I don't like. Every other one, every other one of them, sorry. I do like those, and there's something about them that I enjoy. So I'm going to go worst to best, and recently I watched all these movies again with a, my buddy Lewis, and we got to talk about them and watch them, and my opinions have changed on some of the movies. Um, like I said, there's only one I don't like, and re-watching it, I just can't stand the movie. Um, every other movie in the series, there's something about it I do like, so I'm going to quickly talk about some reasons why I like them, and why I don't like the one that I'm going to bring up first. And with each series I watch, after I'm done watching them, I'm going to rank those other movies as well. Um, I haven't decided which one's going to be the next one, but stay tuned. Uh, but let's get started with this. And again, this is my personal opinion. If you have a ranking of the movies, definitely leave a comment down below or make a video response. I'd like to see what you think of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise and where you rank them from worst to best. And I am going to include Freddy vs. Jason somewhere in this list. Uh, but coming in at number nine, my uh, worst one, and the only one I don't like, and that is Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Um, this movie, I have a history with this film. Uh, the first time I saw it, I hated the movie. I didn't really like it. Uh, second time, again, I just did not like the film. I watched it maybe two or three years ago, maybe more than that, and there were some things I kind of liked, and then re-watching the entire franchise again, after seeing them all with fresh eyes, this movie's terrible. I don't like this movie at all, um, especially when you watch the entire series together. Uh, especially with the original franchise, uh, going from the original to uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, this movie for me, j is, it just sucks. That's all I'm going to say, it sucks. Um, I will say the one thing I do like about the film is I like the concept of Springwood now kind of being deserted. There's no kids there, there's only parents. Um, I like that element. The one thing I don't like about this movie, or there's a couple of them, but the major thing I don't like about this movie is the humor. Um, you know, some of the previous uh, Elm Street sequels, Freddy had some humorous moments and there was, you know, some good comedic tones to it. But this movie just went way too far, in my opinion, and took out any scares that some of the previous movies had. Especially, be, especially one and two. I felt like those were the creepiest uh, nightmare movies um, before this film. But yeah. Uh, just the humor was terrible, the characters, I just can't stand any of them, and I thought the deaths were really weak. Especially when you go back and you watch the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, and you watch this film. Leading up to this movie, there's a lot of great, memorable deaths. In this, I just found, I found all of them to be terrible, even the video game death, which I can't stand. So, my worst is Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Uh, number eight, uh, this film I do like. I know a lot of people don't like this movie. I enjoy it. Uh, definitely not like in my top five, obviously, but I like the movie for what it is. And it is one of those movies where when I first saw it, especially re-watching the, or watching the entire series in order, I didn't care for the movie. But going back and watching the film later, I've actually grown to like it. I don't like this, I, well, I don't love this movie, I'll take that back, but I like the film. So it doesn't have love for me, but I enjoy it enough to like it. And that is Nightmare on Elm Street 5, uh, The Dream Child. He said number eight. You know, the characters could have been better. I do like a lot of the returning characters that we have in the movie, and there are maybe one or two new characters that I do like in this film. Um, my biggest problem with the film itself is they did rush the film. Uh, you know, you had three, four, and five come out like a year apart, and I felt like they could have taken a little bit of a break 
and kind of waited on doing part five and I think it would have been slightly better. But overall, I really do like the film. I think there's maybe one or two memorable kills in this film that I enjoy. Um, I like the kind of gothic feel that the movie has, especially at the end when you're in the, um, the staircases. I do like that a lot. Um, and again, I like a lot of the returning characters, especially Alice. I think she's awesome. She's one of my favorite characters in the franchise. So I do like this movie. I don't love it, but I definitely enjoy it each time I watch it. Like I said, the first time I didn't really care for it, but it gets, in my opinion, better and better. So Nightmare on Elm Street 5, it is low on my list, but there are better movies in the franchise, in my opinion, that are better than this. So Nightmare on Elm Street 5, the dream child. Uh, going into my number seven, this might be a little bit controversy, controversial, if that's correct, if I'm saying that correct, uh, for people when it comes to my ranking. But re-watching this film, even though I like the movie a lot, I think it's a little bit outdated and I kind of like it less and less each time I watch it, but I don't think I'm ever going to hate this film. Um, and let me find it real quick because it is in a box set and that is Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, the best thing about this movie hands down is having Freddy and Jason in a movie together. I think everybody loves that. I think that's the best part. I love that. Um, I think there's some memorable kills in the movie. Uh, as far as some of my dislikes, the only really dislike I uh, can say about this movie, um, some of the CGI definitely dated, and I think the movie overall um, has some other dated elements into the movie. So it's not a, it's not one I love like I did the first time, but I definitely enjoy it for what it is. Uh, the characters are overall fun. Uh, to be honest, some of them are forgettable but there's one or two that stick out uh, that I like. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's a fun one. It's just very enjoyable to have Freddy and Jason in a movie. Now this one is probably on a lot of people's worst list and they probably say it is the worst one out of the entire franchise. Me, I've never hated this film. I went into the theater expecting to dislike this movie so much because I thought the trailers were terrible. Is it in my top five favorite remakes? Definitely not, but I do enjoy the film and that is A Nightmare on Elm Street, the 2010 movie. I know mouths are dropping right now, they're like, what the heck is wrong with this guy? But again, it's my personal list and this is my ranking. I, I really enjoyed this movie. I don't love the film, but I really enjoyed the film a lot. Um, its flaw, in my opinion, has to be that I felt like they rushed a lot of the characters where they die off pretty quick, except for like the few main characters. Every other character just dies, and they're not really developed too much. Um, like some of the, char the rest of the characters in the franchise, I mean, that's gonna happen. Um, and I felt like they didn't need to recreate a lot of those classic scenes that are in the original. They could have done something different. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed the film. Um, I like Jackie O'Haley as Freddy Krueger. He's definitely not Robert England, but he does a good job. Um, I like a lot of the dream sequences that they actually came up for the movie. I thought those were really cool. Um, I like some of the side characters, even though, like I said, they didn't really develop them too much. I like the character Katie Cassidy played. I think her name was Chris. Yeah, Chris. Um, Rooney Mara, she's kind of, I've kind of grown to like her a little bit each time I watch this film. I mean, she's definitely no Heather Langenkamp, but overall I like that character in the film and I thought she, you know, does a pretty solid job. Um, but overall, I really like this. And I also like that the movie went back to a much darker tone film compared to, you know, some of the previous movies. So, Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake, I do enjoy it. Again, that one really surprised me when I saw it in theaters. Uh, going in at number five, now all these movies I love or really enjoy. I mean, these are definitely always going to be in my top five favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Uh, going in at number five is a lot of other people's number one choice, but for me it's number five. And that is A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warrior. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I think this is the last time you really saw Freddy as a dark character. Uh, you slowly started seeing the humor come out in him, but it wasn't like over the top like Freddy's Dead or A Nightmare on Elm Street 5. I mean, this film definitely added some dark moments in it. I think hands down the best things about this movie, in my opinion, have to be the deaths. I think those are original and they're a lot of fun. Um, I love the fact that we had Heather Langenkamp come back in the series as Nancy. Uh, spoiler alert, if you've not seen this movie, she dies at the end, which is very sad. Um, and I really just don't have a dislike with this film. I just don't think it's my favorite of the Elm Street franchise, like a lot of people do. Um, just for me, it's never going to be my number one, to be honest. Um, I think the other movies in the franchise that I'm about ready to talk about are definitely better, but uh, I really enjoy the movie. So again, there's not really a dislike. I just don't love the film, and I wouldn't say it's my personal favorite, but again, everybody has their list, so, and that's what makes horror movie fans and Elm Street fans uh, awesome, is we all have our different opinions. But going in at number four, this one is one of my favorites. I absolutely love the film. Again, some people might consider this to be one of their worst or one of their least favorites, but I absolutely love it. And it's A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, hands down, a fantastic film in my opinion. I absolutely love this film. Um, I love the fact that this is really the last time we saw Freddy, uh, except for, you know, maybe three in the remake, as a dark, menacing character that you really feared. I, I felt like... One, two, oh, and I'll say Wes Craven's New Nightmare, three, and the remake were some of the darkest moments we saw as Freddy. Um, for me, I love a lot of things about this movie. I love the characters. Um, I'm a big fan of Jesse himself. He's one of my favorite characters in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. And it was really sad that we didn't get to see him again in some of the previous movies after this, uh, or some of the movies after this. That's what I meant to say. It would have been great to have seen him maybe in like some of the latest later entries in the series, but I love that character. I love um, Lisa in the movie. I absolutely love the pool scene. I think that's one of my favorite. That is one. That is my favorite. Sorry, my favorite scene or one of my favorite scenes in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. That whole pool scene's amazing. Um, the only thing I dislike about this movie is there are some little outdated moments and some of the practical effects just don't look right. Uh, one scene that I'm really talking about is the scene where you see the dogs with the human faces on them and that rat at the end of the movie. I don't know why they threw that in there. Um, I thought maybe they thought it worked um, when they were filming it, but they just didn't work well when you watch the movie. Um, overall, I think those are my only tiny gripes. I absolutely love this film, and uh, it's one I go to a lot when watching it. So, And it is the gay Nightmare on Elm Street of the franchise, and I'm proud of that. I love that about it. Pride Month, people. Gotta love it. Uh, going in at number three, I love this sequel so much. I've always loved this sequel. I wrote two fan scripts based around this movie. And I just, I love it. And that is Nightmare on Elm Street 4, uh, The Dream Master. Love this movie. This is the MTV of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and it works so well. The kills are a lot of fun. I love every one of these characters. I think some of these characters, or all these characters, are pretty much a lot of the ones that are my favorites of the franchise. Very likable cast. The chemistry worked really well. Um, again, I love um, Alice, Lisa Wilcox. She is one of my favorite characters of the franchise. Uh, I love Tuesday Night as Christian Parker. In my opinion, she works a little bit better than Patricia Arquette. I know some people might disagree with me on that, but I love her. Uh, Lisa, or no, Tuesday Night as Christian. Kirsten. Christian? I always say that wrong. I love her in that role. Um, yeah, just a fun movie. This is my uh, one of my go-tos again, like with Nightmare on Elm Street 2. If I'm going to watch a Freddy movie, it's usually part four, the other two that I'm going to talk about, and Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Love this. Awesome movie. And the music rocks too. A lot of great 
songs in that film. Amazing soundtrack. All right, so going down to two and th two and one. There we go. Um, this was tough because for the longest time, my number two was my number one. And rewatching them over the years, I I find I love my number one slightly more for reasons, and I'll talk about that. But hands down, this is one of the best movies in the franchise. A classic movie, and one of the best slasher movies from the 80s, and that is the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, hold the phone. I know what people are going to say. You're crazy, Justin. You're absolutely nuts. How is this your number two? It's really tough, because my number one and my number two are fantastic films. Like, hands down, I give both these movies... Um, if I give a rating, it's usually a 5 out of 5, but now it's a 4 out of 4. Both movies get a 4 out of 4. I love the films. I think they are some of the darkest movies in the franchise, if not the darkest too. And uh, the original film is a classic. I love this movie a lot. The characters I love. Uh, this was the first time we saw Freddy, and he is uh, probably the darkest we've ever seen Freddy. And I love that. Uh, I love the fact that a lot of the times when he's on screen, he's in the shadows, or there's a lot of scenes that are um, kind of have a, like a dark tone to him when he's on screen, so you don't really get to see his face too much. Uh, and that really makes it menacing. Uh, the way he toys with the characters, just very creepy. And hands down, the best death in the movie is Tina's death. Just a creepy death. Um, still affects me. A lot each time I watch it I really think the build-up to her death is the creepiest like she's in the house she wakes up uh, she's having this dream and she hears Freddie's voice outside the window and then she leaves the house and goes into the alley and that's when we first see Freddie like really see him and really attack the characters and uh, that that alley scene is terrifying I remember being five years old and watching this movie behind a couch, I was so scared to move. And, uh, yeah, that alley scene, whew, it's still creepy in my opinion. And then her actual death in the bedroom, very creepy. I love that. And it just proves that practical effects are the best way to go. Now, if you like CGI and if you could do it well, I praise you because there's some great CGI moments these days. But my gripe with the remake, even though I really enjoy the remake, a lot of those deaths aren't really effective because there's a lot of CGI involved with them. Um, practical effects would have been the best way to go with that, but uh, hands down, classic movie. I love this. I love the character. Like I said, Nancy, I love her. She's amazing. Um, just awesome. Awesome movie. My number one, I guess you guys know what it is, and again, for a long time, the original film was my favorite. But there's one thing I love about Wes Craven's new nightmare that makes it my favorite. Yes, I love the dark tones. Yes, I like that Freddy is menacing in this movie and creepy. And again, he toys with the characters that he kills, like Julie in the hospital. But the thing that really stands out for me with this movie is the story. I love the story. I like the fact that they're taking Freddy out of the films and putting him into the real world and toying with Heather Langenkamp and all the characters, the director, Wes Craven, uh, the producer, Bob Shea. Freddy's toying with them somehow. Rather that's him like being in their face or just uh, them thinking about the movie. I love that. I don't know. For me, I love the storyline. I think that is the reason why I love the movie so much. You know, the original film storyline is original because it was the first time we really had a great slasher movie in the 80s that did something different. It was a supernatural uh, slasher movie. You know, you had like the Boogeyman come out in like 1980 or 81, but it didn't really work well for a lot of people. But when the original film came out, that was an original slasher movie. Uh, and Freddy can only kill his victims in his dreams. This one I love because they took the idea of Freddy and the idea of the franchise 
and they brought it out into the real world, and I love that element. I also think this is Heather Langenkamp's best performance in the franchise. I like her in the other movies. I love her in this film. I love the character of Nancy, but I loved Heather Langenkamp's performance as Heather in this movie. And when she was quote unquote Nancy at the end of the film, when she went into the dream, she was great in that as well. But I love her performance a lot. Um, I think this is one of Wes Craven's best movies. Uh, if not, it might be my favorite. It's my favorite Elm Street movie, and it might be my favorite Wes Craven film. I don't know. Maybe Scream. I'm not sure. But I love this movie. I love everything about this film. This is pretty much my go-to one. A lot of the times. I could probably watch this movie one or two times a year, and I love it. So for me, hands down, the best one is Wes Craven's New Nightmare. I know some people don't like this movie. I know they don't like the way Freddy looks, but what I love about his look in this movie is it stands out and it makes it different from the Freddies that we saw in the, I guess, actual movies, if you want to quote that, where when he's out in reality, he has a different look to him. So I like that they kind of took that and they changed up his look a little bit to make him stand out and make him different. So Wes Craven's New Nightmare, absolutely love this film. It's awesome in my opinion. So anyway guys, I'm gonna go back through my rankings from best to worst. My number one, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Number two, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Number three, A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Dream Master. Number four, A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Number uh, five would be A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Uh, number six is the remake. Number seven, like I said, is going to be Freddy vs. Jason. Number eight, A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. And number nine, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. But anyway, guys, like I said, everybody has their opinions on the series. Rank them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed my list. You guys are probably talking about it right now, thinking I'm crazy. But, like I said, everybody has their opinions and their ideas of what they think of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. There's people that just like the first movie. They don't like any of the sequels. And you know what? That's fine, because that's their opinion. But anyway, guys... Hope you enjoyed my list. Uh, definitely comment down below what's your best to worst or worst to best or leave a video response. I'd love to see that. So anyway, guys, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. As always, in with the positive, out with the negative. Have a great day and go eat some Skittles. All right, guys. Bye.